Welcome to Pillow Talk Tennis. This is Ryan, an avid tennis player, fresh out of college. I just feel like, uh, you know, I want to try something new and, you know, I, I don't see anybody doing this kind of stuff, especially about tennis, you know, just to talk about tennis, you know, in general. I don't have like a mic or something. I don't have a fancy uh, computer or whatever. Just I just wanna do this in a really relaxing way, just like that. You know, just talk about tennis with y'all in a really, really relaxing way. There's nothing more comfortable than just laying in bed and <laughs> doing some pillow talk. You know, pillow talk is supposed to be just like that, just chilling. You know, it's taking your own time and you can be a little bit less professional, you know. It's it's just like talking to a friend or talking to your partner, or to, your, to your family or whatever, your loved ones, you know. Okay, so this is, this is basically the point of this channel right here. It's just taking pillow talking to the next level, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Instead of talking about like, you know, love or relationship or any kind of matter we we talk about tennis because tennis is part of our life and i think it needs a little bit more attention you know um, so today i want to talk a little bit about uh just the current state of tennis you know the world of tennis where we at right now i think that um we're going to a new state of tennis, a new state, a new world of tennis. It, it's it's been changing, you know. It's been changing for quite a while, but uh, I think modern tennis is. I think it's changing. It's taking shape, and we can sort of see where it's heading in the next two or three years. If if you if we go back to like twenty seventeen, you know we all know that twenty seventeen is the year of Federer, but like that year, we we can't really tell. Maybe back to twenty fourteen, we can't really tell like where modern tennis is going. Back in the two thousand or early two thousands, like two thousand one, two, three, when Federer came in, and we know that you know modern tennis is is taking shape. You know, we we know that. Because uh, the the rally's a bit longer, you know. Everybody's like, especially when the dial comes in, everybody's like just playing with spin, a lot of spin, and they like to rally from uh, the baseline. And you know, it's getting more physical, the game in general. And um, yeah, you can just tell. Two thousand six, two thousand seven. You know, that's when everything started to take place. And and nowadays, we we kind of think like, hey. Where is it is it gonna change? Like it's been like fourteen, fifteen or even nearly yeah, nearly, nearly fifteen years and is tennis just gonna stay the same? You know, back when we 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 came a long way, man. Like we came all the way from serving volume to to uh you know, to to, to rally game, baseline game and uh, but you can go all the way back to the Victorian days, the the nineteen hundreds, the eighteen hundreds, when when tennis was invented. You know, people just 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 chilling, just chilling on the grass, and you know, in, in London, you know, people just just hold a freaking wooden racket, and or, or they don't even call a racket or something, just something else. You know, they're just holding a, a piece of wood and just hitting a ball over the fucking net. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah it's just we we went all the way from people just chilling and just meeting friends and to surfing volleying and uh and then modern tennis you know people are really serious about tennis you know <laughs> so 200 years dog 200 years of tennis and what is the next phase of tennis but, but I mean, first of all, my 
you know, how how do I see the current state of tennis? I think sometimes it's a bit boring. Yeah, it's a bit boring. It, it, people just grinding from the baseline and hitting 20 more shots in, in the rally. And it just keep repeating the same pattern over and over again in, in a match, especially on the hard court. And people just run around left left to right left to right sometimes you're going to hit the drop shot but mostly they're just grinding from the baseline and yeah that's basically it you know most of the players are like that you know it's not like everybody's better than jock witch and the you know they got their own special style you know what i'm saying you know Federer is like hey, hey he's not going to chill from the baseline for too long he's going to do a drop shot or a sh or a short uh slice and you know, invite the opponent to go to the net and end end the rally, and or he's just gonna rush the net and do a volley. But the dogs gonna grind you, you know, do all those banana shots and jump with just like a like an elastic man. You know what I'm saying? So everybody's got their own specialty, and I think most of the players nowadays, men and women, you know, they they play pretty much the same. You know, very very similar, similar styles and. I feel like it's sometimes a bit too boring, you know. Djokovic versus Murray, that's dreadful, dog. Well, you can argue that you got some players like Team and and uh, Sitsipas or some some young players like even Yannick Sinner. You know, these players are uh, climbing the ladder, and the Team won his first major. Tsitsipas is really close to that and you know some there's some players like that who can be special but they but they didn't step into the world of tennis like Federer, Nadal, or Djokovic you know they they didn't they didn't make a huge statement when they come they didn't stir up the whole world in a frenzy, in a, in storm, like like the the big three did, and I feel like I feel like uh, the world of tennis is gonna have huge change in in the next couple of years, and either either people gonna play tennis a lot faster from now, or people just gonna go back to the old days, you know, just serving volleying, you know what I'm saying? Even though the courts, you know, you know, they slow down the court, the, the, the speed of the court, you know, long time ago. So that, that favors baseline grinding. But you never know. Maybe if they speed up the court again, to make to make the hard court go a bit faster and probably people are going to serve and volley again. You know, Wimbledon, serve and volley again. And clay court, maybe clay court is going to stay the same. You never know. Uh, grind, grinding from baseline and counter punching, but I, I feel like um, it, we we need some more special people, you know, like Dustin Brown. You know what I'm saying? There be more people like that, not only to 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 make tennis more entertaining, but in, in general, we need to see more styles of people. So. So we can have an an idea of like where tennis is going, you know, it, it's gonna encourage more people to be different, you know. That that is a that's one big point right here is like we need more diversity in tennis, and when we have more diversity in tennis, we we learn from them, we learn from this diversity, and we we create our own skills, you know, we create our own own way of playing, not just not just following the mainstream style of playing, it's just grinding from baseline and have high percentage shots, you know, it's not like that, you know. We learn from people like Dustin Brown. We incorporate that into our style of play and into our game plan and I, I think it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Yeah. It's a good thing. Maybe maybe a year or two from now people will be like drop shotting in every rally, you know, after a couple of shots, people are just gonna drop shot. Um, they might just start a rally with a drop shot. You know, it's gonna be a chaos. You know, you never know. That that would be amazing. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs>
always keeping people on their toe, you know. It's not like you can just stay on the baseline and can win the point. It's not like that. You you, you got to run, dog. You know what I'm saying? You got to run because we like to drop shot. You know, people like to do all those, like, low percentage shots, you know. Tennis going to be going to be chaotic, but, but exciting at the same time, you know. It's not boring anymore. People are not afraid to lose points anymore, even though they got money on the line and the, all the major titles on the line, you know what I'm saying? But you no, know, people start to like make tennis more fun, you know? They start to enjoy tennis a bit more instead of like just focusing on how how to not lose the point, you know, how to how to just 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 get more spin and uh, you know, just grinding out from the baseline and yeah and all that all that stuff, you know, people Maybe people start to chill out and have some fun. You know? So you never know. Maybe more Nick Curiosis in the future. I, I would love that. I would love that, man. More uh, Bernard Tomic. <laughs> Freaking do a, a, a combination of drop shot and a, and a forehand. You, you remember that shot against uh, his shot against Benito? That, that French guy. That, that Bernard Tomic just pulled pull off that shot, you know? Like, what is that, dog? <laughs> what is that shot? I feel like maybe in the future, like near future, everybody's gonna be doing that. Something like that. More creativity on court, you know? That would be, that'd be hella nice, you know? hella nice. But yeah, I guess I'll just wrap up, wrap up today's video on this point, you know? Uh, yeah, I, uh, current state of tennis to me is it's, it's a little bit boring, and I think people nowadays are starting to realize that they need to find new ways to win the point a bit earlier and 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 trying to make it more fun, you know, more fun and effective and more efficient than winning points at the same time, you know, you gotta win the point a bit earlier, you know, save some energy when everybody's getting more physical, you gotta. You gotta spend your energy a little bit more smartly, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, that's my that's my view and I'll talk to you soon. I'll talk to you uh, maybe tomorrow night, you know. <laughs> Just chill out and look me in my freaking bed, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys. Follow and uh if you like this video give me a like smash that like button and i'll see y'all in the future you know pillow talk tennis <laughs>